The next video, this lady is talking about an increasing problem that's happening to home buyers in Ontario. First, I'm really sorry that she's going through this issue. And second, I hope she finds a very good lawyer to help her through the situation. I think her video is very important and very educational. And afterwards, I'll put my commentary on how you can avoid the situation. Good luck. Take care. I live in Ontario and my offer on a home was accepted about 60 days ago now. Our closing is in about 24 days. So um, in Ontario, you get to put down 5% on the first 500,000 and 10% on anything over 500,000. Um, so we had set aside that amount of money and that was the top of our budget. Um, we were told by our mortgage broker that they would be able to make that happen, that um, we would be set, we're fine. Now with 24 days to close, we're finding out that that might not be the case and the bank might want 20% from us, which is nearly $200,000. And there's no chance that um, we'll be able to secure that amount of money. So that brings us to the next issue, which is our appraisal. Um, this broker is really dragging his feet and with every day that passes, the appraisal value of our home goes down. So even if the bank is willing to take our minimum down payment, it might be for far less than what our offer was. And I guess the uh, last stressful piece of the puzzle is that we put in a firm offer, so we can't back out. And if we do back out, um, not only we're going to lose our deposit, we're probably going to get sued. So 24 days to close, I am stressed and thought that I would document the next couple weeks to see what happens. Wish me luck. Three things you should do when buying a home. Never break the 20-30-3 rule for buying a home. 20% down. Annual household expenses do not exceed 30% of your gross household income. Price of the home does not exceed three times gross annual household income. Two, never strike out financing contingencies. Three, never strike out inspection contingencies. Bonus number four, have an appraisal contingency. The bank's probably gonna do it anyway. You break these rules, especially in this Canadian real estate market, and you can get in a lot of trouble.